after this point, you tell me. Well played by Andreev. So can you differentiate last year from... Well, he got it done in the end. I thought it was a rather brave move forward. And straight away, he makes it count. I think what's, what's kept him in close to Andy Roddick. Here's an example of Andreev's strength. Well, it's yeah. just not good enough. Good passing shot, but... Yeah, he went for broke on the forehand and he did the trick. And show. Punishing rally, Federer really made him move there. Nats yeah. loved it. Wow, he's a monster. Game, Andre. Andre. Yeah. Very, very strong there. Yeah, I hear those long shorts. So impressive. So. Yeah, yeah. Sure enough. <laughs> He knew it too. Game under eight. Right. Oh, that's the best of them all. Maybe the shingle there. He's done it again. Now. Well played. And that is exactly why I think he has a chance because. This is fantastic. It's gone long, and Andreev 
has the first set. Started a little tentatively, but he's just got stronger and stronger. Not getting enough free points. He's not one to panic, though, Roger Federer. Well, that was some back end. Well, much more difficult these days. And that won't help. Really good. He chose the ideal. Yeah, terrific play from Federer. And the perfect. Oh. Again, the quickness allied to the strength. Wow. Such a... To work perhaps a little harder than he might have. Yeah, well played. Not all brawn. 15 long. Federer. 13, 15. Yeah, just for a split second. Whoa! What a way to finish the set. There were a lot of questions, and he's answered them pretty emphatically in that second set. Oh, it's a wonderful yeah, serve. <laughs> Too good. Nothing wrong with that forehand. Stayed well on top of that. The forehand's too good. And Andreev is in front again. Super rally. Oh. Yeah, but he used the forehand, but he wasn't able to dominate. Pick the situation at all. Super serving from Roger Federer. Oh. 
Well played. Yeah, well done. This is when you have to use the... Game, Andrea. He's bringing the... Uh, Haiti. Well, at his best. So forehand from Andre. Drop shot of all time. A very clever shot that little. It's fascinating, Matt, isn't it? Hitting with the same power the far end. Come on! Yeah. yeah, that's as loud as it gets from... Oof. That's a wonderful shot. And he has got no. he was open for it and on Yeah, we need a couple more of those. The breaks have come from this side. And there's another break. Outstanding play from Igor Andrea. Federer got it down really low. Yeah, that. Just overcooked it. Federer is. Well played. He just doesn't miss overhead. 
3-1. Good start. Doesn't like those kind of players, Federer. Points. It's a huge set. It may be the pivotal one. It should be the pivotal one for Roger Federer. And he... Oh, beautiful. Same pattern, same play. No, I like that. I like patterns. I think. Oof. Same pattern. Michel sure. could get nervous or tight, and I think he's just feeling the same thing here against Andreev. Covered from two sets down again, he used to do, which would prolong his career and make it more interesting for himself because every. enough Good. Is that oh, just letting it rip now, Federer. One of the luckiest players in the world. Oh, oh there, there is your special. There's Chris. the special one. An impossible shot with the wind in your back. It really is. When you think where he recovered from, having then run round for the, probably the first time. Even Federer enjoyed that. It's one-way traffic. It's a triple break. Oh. A backhand clean winner from the back to finish. There's a half smile there. Federer comes through in four sets. There were scares. There were moments of trepidation. But he's through to the second round once more. Now oh, he has to be so pleased with that performance. I mean, he really eager, Andre was dictating most of the points. He was dictating the scoreboard. He got a little tight there in the third set, but still, Federer came back after losing the first set, 6-2, and then he wins 7-6, wins the fourth six. Love. I mean, Roger, it's uh, it's been a long time since you've been pushed in the first round of a major. You haven't lost a set in a major in six years. But this guy came to play today, and he plays you tough always. Talk a little bit about this match and your thoughts coming into it. You knew it was going to be a tough one, I'm sure. Yeah, I did know it was going to be tough. We uh, played five sets in, uh, in New York two years back, one and a half years, and uh, that was extremely tough. Uh, I really had to adjust my game to, to beat him. I, I was serving balling a lot back then. Today, I didn't do it, but I thought actually I was playing well for the, even in the first set when I, I lost that. So I just uh, hoped I was going to hang in there. He was maybe going to get a bit tired and miss some shots like I did at the end. But uh, I thought, I think he's a wonderful player and uh, it was a tough first round. So really, really relieved I'm through. Now, what about the third set? Because, I mean, there were some big changes in that set. You know, you hit probably the worst drop shot I've ever seen you hit down break point, And you got away with it. That's it. That's how it goes. You know, you got to try them, those bad ones sometimes, you know, surprise them. 
Well, after that, I'll tell you, so you got up a break, then you, you got behind again. I mean, how did you hang in there in that set? It was really a roller coaster. Well, I think he uh, didn't, I think he was up a break first. And then, yep. yeah, and then I came back and then uh, I was serving downwind. This end was really easier to serve from and uh, had a tough uh, opening couple of points at 5-3, I think, down love 30, could have been up 30 love. And then the next thing you know, he's swinging freely again. So it was a tough uh, third set. I think I definitely got very lucky to get out of that one. Even, you know, he was, he was playing well off the, the set points, served well, he got the shots he wanted. So just uh, it's the way it goes sometimes. It was a fortunate uh, third set for me today. But uh, all in all, I'm very happy with my performance. So, as tennis players, we, we sometimes have to sort of lie to ourselves and tell our, tell our stories about how, well, this is good because I was pushed in the first round. Is this good because you were pushed, pushed in the first round? And if you'd won in straight sets, would that be good? No. No, it works this way. If I win in straight, if I win a couple of matches, then they go, don't you need a tougher one? And then they come back and ask you these questions. You know, the media is the ones who, who like to ask any kind of questions, you know, win or lose. And uh, You don't put me in that camp, do you? You're a legend of the game. You, you don't count. But... Good. Uh, good, yeah. Um, no, but look, I prefer easier matches, but... Uh, this work as well. <laughs> well, congratulations. You made it through once again in the second round. We look forward to seeing you next time. Roger Federer, ladies and gentlemen. After this point, you tell me. well played by Andreev. So can you differentiate last year from... Well, he got it done in the end. I thought it was a rather brave move forward. And straight away, he makes it count. I think what's, what's kept him in close to Andy Roddick. Here's an example of Vandreev's strength. Well, it's yeah. just not good enough. Good passing shot, but... Yeah, he went for a break on the forehand and he did the trick. Show. Punishing rally, Federer really made him move there. Nats yeah. loved it. Wow, he's a monster. Game, Andrei. Andrei. Very, very strong there. Yeah, I hear those long shorts. It's 
so impressive. So. Yeah. yeah. Sure enough. He knew it too. Game under eight. Oh, that's the best of them all. Maybe the shingle there. He's done it again. Now. Well played. And that is exactly why I think he has a chance. Because... 